Oh, welcome back to another video. It's your boy CRE. Now, before we kick out season two, these are the official season in these stats. We you know 28 tackle, 27 solo tackles, one assisted tackle, nine tackles for loss, two sacks, eight interceptions. Man, man, it's one hell of a season that we had. Man, it is one first fumble, two fumble occurred. I believe like two or three, maybe four, you know, defensive touchdown, two defensive touchdown, man. So that's it goes to show this dude is a game changer heading <laughs> into his sophomore season. He definitely will be the guy. You know what I mean? Um just Vincent there everybody with seven sacks followed by Williams and it was he tied with six with Sawyer. Interceptions, like I say, eight. Well, Burke had five. Hickman had a lot of these players are coming back, so that's definitely a good look for this defense. Definitely good. Lot of, hopefully, a lot of these juniors end up coming back because we all know they can declare for the draft. So, the more returning starters that we have, that's the better for us as our unit. Justin Smith, the Jigba, 9 22, 11 touchdowns. Fleming, 8 92, 10 touchdowns. Marvin Harrison Jr. just shot about five yards short of 500 yards, six touchdowns. I feel like I feel like he should get more looks thrown his way, no more passes thrown his way. But Trey Young Henderson almost 1500 yards, but he ended up getting injured. Still 15 touchdowns on the ground. It's good to have a backup, bro. Maya Williams 810 yards, six touchdowns. CJ Stroud added one sixty and two scores. So like it's but Williams he could pretty much start on any other FBS team. That's how good and deep we are. But McCord in up sparing CJ Stroud who injured 576, three touchdowns, one interception. CJ Stroud 26 53, you know, passing yard through the air, 26 touchdowns, only two interceptions. That's that's a very smart you know, quarterback to only throw two interceptions. But coming to season two, we are ranked number one. You got USC. Bro, they all ranked 99 across the board. 80 plus is across the board. You got number 10, USC. You got Georgia, Miami, Texas a and Michigan State, Michigan, Oregon, Utah, Alabama, followed by us. Now, in real life, bro, y'all give me y'all prediction. I know I like the last video, but I believe Tennessee is going to get Georgia a run for their money. But my real life Florida Gators going to end up facing Georgia. Y'all give me y'all predictions. Comment below, but a lot of running backs on the early, early Watchmen Heisman list. Man, we're going to go ahead and upgrade a few little things. The green, man. Spin cycle, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. Of course, Sky High. The greens means they are permanent, so that's what we're shooting for. Mr. Clutch, yes. we jumping like Zion, man. Jumping through the roof, man. We're going to go ahead and just upgrade all of this. I believe we're going to have six total episodes for this video. So that's two games per video. Like a Navy in Cincinnati, this one video, Kent State, Virginia Tech, another, you know, video, Wisconsin, you know, so on and so forth. So expect six episodes of double header for this season, man. First game of the new year, man. Let's get straight into it versus Navy. We already up seven to nothing. I know a lot of subscribers wanted me to play this way and it feels it, it feels comfortable, man. I should have been playing like this. It, it gives like that real life feeling. One subscriber mentioned that they want to follow me. You know what I mean? And it's it's not that bad, man. I played on NCAA 11, other series, and playing it on here, I decided to give it a shot. And, bro, <laughs> y'all just got to see the video, man. It's fun playing like this. It really is, man. It gives it that real life feeling rather than the other camera angle. You feel me? But third and five against Navy, we all know they are a running team first. So our defensive front seven have to be on their P's and Q's. We up 14 to nothing, first and 10. The option that's not going. Oh, okay. Pick up something. Okay, nine. Pick up a nine, man. All right, second and one. Let's see what they dial up. Oh, hey, bro, if he would have looked this way, your boy Dre was definitely beat, man. But, all right, first and 10. Bro, get on that, man. We all on that. Let's go. Like I said, our defense, our front, front seven have to be execute every single play. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that boy Dre said, let him get in on the action. Y'all do me a favor, man. Like, comment, subscribe on the video. Nah, we on, we on that. We are on that. Let's go. 
It's free of charge, man. It definitely helps out the channel. It helps the channel grow. First and 10 up, 14 to nothing. Pitch, bro, nah. No, <laughs> no. Get the number one team? Nah, bro. You're not running east and west on this. Definitely not happy. Second and 13, that pitch, bro. And realize that these pitch, bro, it's just like four and five people that's attacking the football. That's the way it should be, bro. Let's go. We up 28 to nothing, bro. You can have that, bro. Okay. Pick up a seven, second and three. Man, coming into this season, it, and it's hard to win the Heisman as a cornerback unless you do punt returns and kick returns. But, of course, y'all know we not, you know, doing that. But So, it's, it's definitely going to be hard, man. Definitely going to be going to shoot for the we going to try, man. <laughs> we going to try. Like first and ten, bro. Down he goes for a sack. Let's go. Third and twenty. And just based on our schedule, bro, I feel like the last game of the season, bro, is gonna be, it's gonna be determined. <laughs> I mean, Wisconsin gave us a run for our money the first time we faced them, you know, last year. But other than that, bro, I feel like we just gonna run through this schedule. You know, we can't take any anybody lightly. We gotta be on our P's and Q's. Nice pass, nice dump off. Bro, what are you doing? Okay. They pick up a first down, man. They showing some kind of life. First and ten. Let's go down. He goes again. He trying to run. That's what a lot of you, you like when you get sacked, bro, they take away your total yardage, bro. So it just like, yo. We doing our job, man. We definitely doing our job. Third and 16, and he doing it deep in that. It's intercepted by that boy, Burke. Bro, we arguably got the best one-two punch in college football. Y'all tell me who has a better cornerback dynamic duo than your boy Trey Marshall and that boy, Burke. He decided to take off running again, pick up positive yards, but oh, this only pick up a hand for all right, third and three. Bro, we not falling for that. Bro, what? <laughs> Yo, and I went back and looked at the replay, bro. I tripped over my own teammate, man. My own teammate. That's crazy. First and 10. Bro, we own that. Great open field tackle, bro. This is like, why can't we play like this every single game? Oh, oh let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and, bro, he fucking tripping, bro. What the fuck? Bro, you did not have to clip him. And that's all we got for this episode, man. But stay tuned for the second game, man. Here we are at home. First home game of the season against Cincinnati. Third and 10. Cross the middle. And yeah, that's that's not, that, not They go three and out, man. And just like that, man. We up seven to nothing. First and 10. Play action. Good defense, bro. But I wanted to end this up then. Second and ten, bro. Look at all those scarlet red jerseys, bro. That's the way you're supposed to attack the football. All right, third and eleven. Bro, Burke, you got to pick that. You got to intercept that. That was definitely a house call. All right, first and ten. Oh, yes, sir. We on that. Let's go. We get on the stat sheet. Second and thirteen. Like I said before, man, it's it's definitely fun playing like this, bro. It it just gives it that that challenging, you know, perspective of you you really gotta play like a real life cornerback. You know what I mean when it's camera view. But the other one, man, it just kind of I'm I'm just glad I switched to this camera view, man. But shit, so big shout out to the subscriber. I can't remember his name, but big. It's about two or three of y'all, man. So big shout out to y'all. Second and six, and that is caught for a first down. Tyler Scott pick up 17, first and 10. Nice open field tackle. Okay, pick up a three. All right, second and seven. But we got to clamp down and play defense. Good defense. Let's go. That's the way you play fucking play defense, man. Third and seven. Call, bro, what? First down first and goal but let's clamp up we got to clamp up mm -mm. overthrown let's go second and goal right for the run 
Let's go. We own it. Let's go. Third and goal. Let's get this crowd into it, man. Bro, what they way to fucking step up and hold him to three? Bro, I couldn't be more proud of these defense, man. First and ten. Bro, why do we leave him, bro? Good throw, good catch on the pick up four, but I also want to say, like I said, I know a GTA cutscene is supposed to be introduced into this you know, game, but I decided, you know, your boy PFG is a highly touted GOAT, man, big YouTuber, y'all don't, if y'all watch him, man, and he's the one that actually taught me the ropes <laughs> as far as doing them GTA cutscenes, so I know it takes a lot, but I'm going to message him, I'm gonna message him on IG and, and, and see what the holdup is, but... I didn't want to keep y'all waiting on this series, man. So I just went ahead and just kicked it off, man. So we will introduce, you know, the, the whole series later on in the series this season. So y'all stick around for that, man. First and 10, bro. We on that. Let's go. That's, now I want to get this dude covered. This boy could come up and fucking smack you in the fucking mouth. Plain and simple, man. No questions asked, bro. Early in the third quarter, we only got seven points to show for it with this high power offense, bro. We Cincinnati is playing one hell of a defense, man. I can't take that away from it, but we we got too much firepower on, on offense to just only be averaging. To have seven points, man. If we make an open field tackle, man, that's gonna bring up a third and eight. I'll throw it over here. Bro, he caught that, yo. <laughs> We have to step it up, man. We have to step it up. Especially the office, man. Especially the office. All right, first and 10. Throw it over here. Okay, nice throw. Nice catch. And that is good for six, man. All right, second and nine. Bro, throw it over here. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. How's go? Crib that thing. Let's go. Don't get caught. Let's go. Bro, I'm telling you, that was the game. That that play was literally the, the game changer, man. Like, for real. That literally turned the ties of this game, man. Because with, uh, without your boy Dre causing that fumble, bro, this we would have lost this game, man. Like, for real. Yeah, but look at the offense put up another seven points. Oh, let's go. Another force fumble, bro. Where are you going? Let's go. Bro, this dude Dre is a game changer, man. That's all I can say. He is a game changer. We at home, number one team in the nation. Kind of a bit of a struggle early on through three quarters, but that first force fumble, bro, it, it literally turned the tide of this game. And down he goes for another sack. 350 remain in the fourth quarter, bro. Like I said, that first forced fumble turned the tide of this whole game. Bro, another fight. Oh, three fourth fumbles. Like for real? This dude is a fucking game changer. And y'all can y'all can't deny that, bro. Y'all cannot deny. It. This dude is a the next Ohio State GOAT, bro cornerback legend already well that's all we got for this game man like comment subscribe on the video bro you'll love y'all to life until next episode man it's your boy cr8 and i'm gone I wanna salute every nigga who run with me And it's a secret everything that you done with me Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty Family